Welcome to BT Travel. I'm your host Sabrina here to guide you on all things Barbadian and vacation. Today we are here at Four Square Rum Distillery and we are actually watching the molasses being loaded into the underground storage. It smells amazing. You would not believe it. It, it looks like chocolate but this is actually a byproduct of sugarcane. So I'm going to take a little taste of the molasses right now for you to see. Look at that, it's warm and beautiful. So nice. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. So nice. Four Square Rum Distillery and Heritage Park is located on a former sugar plantation that dates back to the early 1700s, which can be found on the outskirts of Six Roads, St. Philip, Barbados. The head brand being RL Steel & Co. This family, four generations of rum making expertise, started with Mr. Reginald Leon Seal and now run by his great grandson, master distiller and blender Richard Seal. This working factory is well known for its collection of rums and producing a wide range, but it is limited to rums such as Old Brigham and ESA Field Rum. For Spray Rum Distillery, has won scores of awards for its unique and innovative approach to producing rum over the years. This year, they have dominated the Gold Outstanding Winners at the 2021 International Wines and Spirits Competition, taking five of the seven medals. Preserving Barbadian history is the backbone of Foursquare, from maintaining aspects of the old sugar plantation, reusing cogs and flywheels artistically, to preserving the best of local brands such as Martin Dorley, John D. Taylor, and ESA Field. Gail, brand ambassador, was kind to give us a behind the scenes look at the production of their fine rum from start to finish, along with the rich history of Foursquare. That was amazing. <laughs> what did you think of the taste of it? It was creamy it was sweet there's there's such a richness to it it's a fantastic product to be starting with and one of the most important parts of making rum but we'll we'll get going and i'll give you guys a tour today okay so four square was a sugar factory dating back to 1737. Um, it was a working sugar factory there was i think over 141 sugar factories in barbados back in the day now there is one which is terrifying wow. this one closed down in the mid 80s and was derelict and when we, we, our family has always been uh, in the rum industry since 1926, RL Seal was making rum. We were independent bottlers, very much like the John Dewars and William Grant. We had RL Seal, ESA Field, Martin Dorley, John D. Taylor. Everybody was an independent bottler. Um, in 1994, my husband Richard, who is our master distiller and better, decided he wanted to make his own rum rather than be an independent bottler. So we needed to find a good site to build a distillery. Um, what we needed was um, good water, and Foursquare being a sugar factory has an underground aquifer running through it, which gives wow. us good Barbados water filtered through coral stone. We needed a lot of land. The, the, the sugar factory has a lot of land. We needed land for the distillery and for aging work. We wanted to keep a lot of the history of the sugar factory, so all of our buildings are literally revamped and we used the, the out buildings of everything and built the distillery within. We took a tour around the grounds, passing the weigh station, the sugar can pit, and the original crane which carried the can into the sugar can factory. We got a behind the scenes look at the working rum distillery. Kiel was very informative and showed us the basic elements of what makes rum. The step-by-step -step process from fermentation, distillation, to of course, the most important process, barreling and aging, which of course can take some years. Okay guys, so we're about to take you on a very special behind the scenes tasting with Gail. Take a look. I love the setup here. As we enjoyed this selection of fine rums, Gail gave us pointers and tips on seasoning our palate to experience the full flavor of the rum. Okay. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. It truly was an amazing experience here at Foursquare and the tasting as well. As always, stay safe and be positive. I'll see you in the next one.